Gulf County could see hurricane force winds as Helene makes landfall tomorrow. County officials issuing a state of emergency this morning and evacuation orders are in place for the southern end of the county and lower lying areas. As News 13's Grace Velez tells us, city officials and many residents are making safety their top priority. Gulf County officials have ordered a mandatory evacuation for the Indian Pass, Cape San Blas, Simmons Bayou and Oak Grove areas, as well as all RV parks south of the Intracoastal Waterway. These low-lying areas are the most prone to flooding, and Helene is definitely going to be a water event. But it's a very, very dangerous storm. Um, go ahead and heed the warnings and get out as soon as possible um, if you're in one of the affected areas there. Gulf County Sheriff Mike Harrison says they are doing everything they can to keep people in the community safe and to make sure those who need to get out have a safe passageway. We've got a concern for a very vulnerable part of the county there at uh, Cape Sandblast at what's called the uh, stump hole. Um, been in contact with with uh, Florida Highway Patrol, have talked to their um, uh, their, their colonel, uh, talked with the commissioner of FDLE this morning, and talking to our local folks with the uh, FHP, making sure we get the extra resources in here if needed. Gulf County, Florida Emergency Management is anticipating power outages. They're warning those who rely on electricity or refrigeration for medical needs to consider evacuating even if they are not under a mandatory evacuation order. Members of the Cape Sand Blast community are securing their boats and homes and emphasizing the importance of taking this storm seriously. Just be safe, be prudent, uh, you know, don't ever underestimate Mother Nature. Uh, the, the tide obviously can come in very good, the storm surge, uh, the high winds, things can be picked up and used as projectiles, so don't wait too late. Uh, get going and uh, be safe. Employees at Scallop Cove General Store say they've been incredibly busy helping residents and tourists get gas and other necessities. The vast majority seem to be evacuating. In Gulf County, Grace Velez, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The Honeyville Community Center opens at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning as a last resort general population shelter. Accommodations will be minimal. Evacuees must bring their own food, water, bedding, and other necessities. For more information on the shelter, you can visit our website, mypanhandle.com.